Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As the title, I'm going to be talking about um, training Kaizy with his muzzle and this is his main muzzle. He has like a, a beige smaller one which is a bit longer but we very very rarely use this. This is his main muzzle. Talk about why he's muzzled, why we trained him to get used to his muzzle and also how long ago and how we kind of got around any issues. He's even come up, as you can probably hear his foot tapping to come have a look and a sniff. So we started muzzling Kaizy from quite a young age. Um, he was a little bit temperamental as a puppy. So it's the safest option through training or vets or any situation. So like we walked through um, town to get him used to busy situations. Children or strangers would love to run up to him and he would be a little bit nervous. And even now, so it's sensible to put it on. People go, okay, there's a muzzled dog. Let's give it some space or just stay away from it, which is perfect. So Kaizy was probably about eight or nine months. And that's when we started to introduce like a head collar and a muzzle. Head collar probably took us a bit longer for him to get used to it, where the muzzle just followed after. So it was a bit similar over his nose, behind his ears. So we would slip it over him gently and feed treats through. We would leave it around so we could sniff it. We wouldn't force it over him. If he became stressed, we would walk away and just leave it for a few hours or the next day or a few days later. So we used to adjust it, clip it on every time behind him where the Baskerville is like a clip and you just slide it in. This one, you have to thread it through. But now we know he's perfect hole. We just slip it over his ears. His nose goes straight into it and it's perfect. His nose pops out here and his tongue can come out here. So he's able to eat and drink still. He can't really bite. He picks up sticks if he really pushes his nose up, but he just walks away. It's a bit dirty at the moment as he rolls in the grass with it. Sometimes it itches him between the eyes. We did take the attachment off, which went in between and went into the middle, but that always slipped and wasn't very sturdy and didn't make a difference. It still works perfectly. And we wanted to muzzle train him, even if Kaizy didn't ever need to be muzzled, it's always important in case he fell unwell or was a little bit unpredictable, say just the vets. We know that we weren't gonna have a half an hour battle trying to get him on, him slipping it off. So it became, okay, we'll, we'll take a car ride with him. He loves the car the muzzle on and he would just forget about it so by the end of a five ten minute or half an hour car journey to the park he didn't even think about it and off lead he is brilliant with his muzzle he's so much calmer i don't know why he listens his recall is brilliant without it he's kind of like very i'm free and just runs off or just won't listen as well but his recall is pretty good but with the muzzle at least like in the past, he's been quite severely attacked by other dogs. He couldn't fight back, which I was so frustrated by, but I wouldn't want him to harm others. And also if anyone stepped in, my dog isn't responsible. He can't harm himself or others like that. And it's just for a safety reason. It's also for other dog owners. Okay, that dog, there's a reason why it might be because he eats food or he's a bit nervous or a bit reactive. So he's muzzled. And I would definitely recommend get your dog muzzle trained. If, if you might use it once in a blue moon, but at least it's another tick off the training list that your dog is used to and comfortable with. You can get them from like pets at home, online, pet stores. You can get them from like Wilcom and stuff, but this Baskerville one that we got, we got from pets at home, I think it was about 15 or 20 pound. Ooh, this one specifically about four years ago, but we were using the beige one, but that was a bit too tight around Kaiser's head. This one, it fits perfectly. You'll see in our vlogs, on our previous videos, he'll be off lead running around in the woods on the park with it, and he just gets on with it. It's funny because when he has it, especially in the summer if he's sweating or a little bit hot, he'll try and rub it on people to try and get it off, but he's all good. And it's definitely uh, made him easier to socialise, I would say, because he it's like a safety barrier. He feels more confident to go up and he's not as reactive to dogs. So it's really, really good. But I would recommend just getting your dog used to it. You can feed them treats, slip it over. Even if you put it on loosely and you're not tightening up or anything or securing it, it's really good. You start them from a young age, just make it positive. Same as the head collar, if that's something that you might have to introduce or want to introduce into your walks and training. I'll insert a clip of me put it on Kai, uh, putting the muzzle on Kaizy. As you can see, Kaizy is, oh, you right? <laughs> unbothered and doesn't phase it. I normally just grab his collar just so he doesn't try and wander away. So make sure that little bit is down, slip his head over. Because it's already on the side, I know it's not too tight. As you can see, his nose starts to go through. Pop one ear through, pop 
top the other and I make sure I can still get a couple fingers through but it's not too loose and as you can see it's not too loose it's not falling off his nose or anything and he's not fighting me back he's really comfortable and yeah he's able to still drink still eat if he wants anything any treats if you're training you can sniff thank you for watching our video Kaizy will get this off you in a minute I hope you enjoyed it I would say I'd recommend to muzzle train your dog or get them used to a head collar or just being safe really it doesn't have to be negative a muzzle I think people have got st stigma around them but I'd say it's worth it you're a happy doggy and say thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye